Hey guys, welcome back to Dolly for Hero Clicks, doing a very special legacy card video for you guys. They've been floating all around the internet. Uh, so we have went ahead and collected all the legacy cards we saw in Scott Porter's video this last week and that we've been seeing floating around in one nice, neat little place to just go ahead and review all the cool legacy cards. We have uh, a dope, I mean, I love the choices they chose. We have Captain America from Hammer of Thor, Coulson from Nick Fury and uh, Age of Shield, Jarvis from Avengers Assemble, Cosmo, Kang, the Supernova Kang, which I called, so that's the first official Dial H bets that where we've actually uh, made a guess right for Legacy card. A uh, Tigra Hawkeye, well, I mean, that Captain America, too. Uh, Rick Jones, Modok, Thor from Supernova again, and then the three we haven't seen yet are going to be Black Knight from Fantastic Forces, the Dark Star, and Ursa Major from the Captain America. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is one I was very excited for to finally see Captain America a little different but i think he fits the essence of what we wanted him to be so he's only 50 points which is really cool that's kind of the point value i was hoping he'd be at is a new trait called inspirational paragon uh, when captain america removes an action token from a friendly character including himself when using leadership or willpower after resolutions you may heal that character two clicks and then so the cool thing about this Captain America is that he has willpower on his last three clicks, and then he has leadership on his first two. So if you willpower on his very first click of willpower, he'll get back to his leadership, and then he can leadership again and heal back to full. So he can heal himself back to full. This is a, a new way of doing it. Yeah, see, just like that. So like, it's a new way of like having a healing mechanic. So he gets to his last click, he can heal up, and then he can heal back up to leadership. So he can totally heal himself back up on like good leadership and willpower rolls, which is really cool. Um, or, you know, of course, help other people. So this is an interesting way of, like, get back in the fight, you know, soldier type ability for Captain America. And his special attack power is now Shield Ricochet, which has improved targeting, hindering terrain, elevated, and characters. It's very sad. Probably the worst part about making it Shield Ricochet is that it's no longer a uh, deflection trajectory, which was, to me, very iconic. I loved the name of that special power. It also takes away his ignores uh, outdoor blocking. But, yeah. you know, this is a very, still a very solid Captain America. It's I don't think it was what I super wanted it to be, but I can't wait to play him. Being able to just play this Captain America again is going to be really awesome. Um, but I'm not going to spend too much time talking about him. I do love the changes we made to this figure, though. I think it fits in a very different way than we've ever seen a Captain America fit before. And then without being overpowered like the old one was, because, yeah, it was cheap at the time being able to see through all that stuff they've still given him that same feel so he still does uh, what he used to do and more um, that's kind of cool on a shield team team oh yeah we can team still buff him to high heaven punch which pretty I love. hard yeah so that's another thing i want to mention he has martial artists they didn't give a lot of captain america's martial artists and that was always my favorite thing about this captain america is that he had martial artists so he was always on my martial artist teams because he was one of the few rain like martial artists that oh, you yeah. would get uh, so that's too yeah. that's the big thing is that they didn't change any of his keywords like I, that's what i love i hate i don't like when they change keywords for legacy cards so i really love that he has uh or at least if they add more but uh yeah so i super love what they did with him i like his healing ability I like it all it's a unique way to do captain america and it still feels like camera for captain america which is really cool yeah i'll say um as far as like legacy cards go that's one of the reverse power creep things that older characters yeah. have is that like super high range value and uh, we'll see that a few other times so um, up next we have somebody who is it oh yes Ooh, Cosmo, Cosmo dog. the old uh, the good old Annihilators Guardians of the Galaxy Animal and Cosmic I think Animals is getting a huge boost in this set yeah um, in our in our actual podcast episode we'll talk about uh, Kazar because he is nuts. Kazoo, as they call him in Snap. Oh, gosh. Um, but uh, so Cosmo here, he's got Chief Security Officer of Nowhere. Uh, it's, nowhere. Uh, yeah. K-N-O-W-H-E-R-E. -E. And I said no. Mind control power. Choose a standard power until your next turn Cosmo has opposing characters within range can't use the chosen power. Something that's really fun about this or. I mean, maybe not like obvious right away is power actions are never great when it comes to stuff like this, but um, it's until your next turn, he has opposing characters within range, can't use the chosen power. So it's not like a burst effect. It's not like a free effect, but what you can do is power action Cosmo to pick a power and then carry him up 
to like I don't know apocalypse and say like you can't use willpower or maybe you want to play two or yeah master yeah. Yeah. willpower willpower or, or mastermind whichever yeah. you know they're the same same with apocalypse no uh yeah mastermind so you like power action say uh mastermind then you carry him up to within six squares um and then he has a special damage power that is sit outwit when cosmo uses it the targeted character gains immobile until your next turn Ooh, which is not so really good yeah uh, so i miss immobile immobile is not nearly in the game as often as it should be um wwe had a standard power that passed out immobile but i really i think i'm gonna get a lot of mileage out of cosmo for having a six range you don't even have to like outwit doesn't even have to be effective it just has to you target the character with it and they get immobile until your next turn i think that's super strong he also has the new Guardians TA, which is this character's combat values can't be modified by opposing character's effects for whatever that's worth. Um, traded mind control, or not traded mind control, but the special power mind control. I think he's pretty fun. He can see through hindering and through characters. Uh, so he's got that special speed power, his first four clicks. He only gets that special uh, immobile power in his mid dial. There's definitely a few ways to push him to those kind of clicks. They chunked off, what, like 25, 30 points from him, though? Yeah, they dropped off quite a bit. Um, Starts with TK and Willpower. I don't know how important Willpower is going to be to him. I think he's mostly going to be used as like a drop-off piece for denying opposing characters a certain power, dropping him off, and then laying some attacks into him. Uh, But he does also have regular outwit on that. So he's got a whole bunch of stuff that's going for him. And then his last click, if you ever want to play him on like a reverse dial game, because Lord knows he usually won't see this click. Uh, he has charge blades with 12 attack and battle fury. And uh, the flavor text on that is Cosmo means business. I wouldn't yeah. have gone for the throat. But then again, I am a dog. Like, I don't know. No, no more Mr. Nice Dog. Now Cosmo yeah. will hurt everyone. <laughs> I just wish it was like a stop click. So it was like, oh, I wish so too. Uh, uh, be so nice. Not because of like game mechanics, just because I I want Cosmo to like hit that click often. So I'll definitely be uh, playing multiples of these guys on like reverse style nights, and then Ooh. potentially a few yeah. uh, when it comes to like more competitive stuff. I like that. Cosmo was always like a lockdown figure, and he keeps that same like lockdown yeah. essence. That's really cool. I'm really glad uh, that he's like good. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's super nice. Speaking of someone who's also good, now, like, this figure was 75 points in the past. I think Colson's, what, 45, 50 now? Um, mm-hmm. But he's got sideline active, which is really cool. He keeps a lot of his same, like, stuff that he used, which is what I really like about him. So his special attack power used to be Pensai with energy explosion, but now it is, I guess I'm skipping the trait, but let's go into special attack. Uh, it's incapacitate. When Agent Coulson uses it, he may also deal his printed damage value to hit characters given an action token. That's really awesome, so I love that. Uh, to get to his trait really quick, sideline active when a friendly character of 50 points or more with the shield keyword rolls for leadership and succeeds, and a 6 was rolled, they may instead generate Agent Coulson from your sideline on click 1. That's so insane. So like Agent Coulson, so Captain yeah. America and bring in Coulson and heal someone two clicks with like a leadership role, which is insane if he rolls a six. So I love this. He literally makes every shield team. I haven't played shield in, in a while because we haven't gotten a ton of love for shield. So I love this Coulson. He's so dope. And then he has another special damage power with leadership that works within this set. So leadership outwit when agent Coulson uses leadership and succeed to may generate a zero zero two shield operative and click one from Avengers forever seen a lot of so thematic dude we're a lot of and there's uh, so many leaderships in this set that drop yeah. people. not just drop people but also like they're like this is probably the, i think the third that drops someone else that also has leadership that brings yeah. someone else in so it's not like you're just generating i mean he's he's giving this to other people he's basically gifting this trait to other yeah. people as a sideline piece but um like the dormammu can bring in baron mordo um, and then Baron Mordo and Dormammu can both bring in the mindless ones. So it's like, uh, yeah, you have to roll a six, but man, is it? It's just like super. It's so good. cool though, but like and for then, free on a shield team, like yeah. it's so dope. Oh yeah, he's forty five points. So like they chunked off a ton. Um, he's got running shot. Like ah, uh, 
So awesome. Yeah. Like, Running shot, six range, cool. shield TA. Um, he's bringing in those other guys or potentially bringing in those other guys. Also, like yeah. if he shares a keyword with whoever brought him in, he just can leadership off of them. Um, also true. Yeah, because it's generate. You're still in the beginning of the turn, I believe. So I, he also rolls leadership, which is cool. Yeah. He only has one lightning bolt, but the way his incapacitate yeah. is worded. Sounds like when, if he had more, you yeah. get each target. Yeah. When he uses it, he may also deal his printed damage value to hit. So yeah, if you wanted to use like, what is it like the reality gem or something to uh, boost his like lightning bolts, the old Ooh, school uh, Ock Arms relic, um, yeah. boost his lightning bolts, and then he could just deal three to everyone that he incapacitated to do or whatever. Um, Odd. Yeah, I really like him. I think he's one of the most fun legacy cards. Just like on the pure, Dude, yeah, I think so. I he might be competitive. I don't know, but like, I feel like being sideline active, um, that helps him out. It'll yeah. it'll really help diversify sidelines. If they end up do being like shield people with leadership, that end up being like competitive. He's really going to help diversify sidelines at least. Yeah, it's not it all have to be a shield pride, team. destroyer, sentinel. Oh, is it not? Oh, no, it doesn't have to be shield, so just shield team. Keyword. Just shield keyword. Just shield yeah. keyword. Oh, okay, so, cool. Wow. Anyone really that nice, just happens to have it could potentially, yeah, like it. Bring him in, yeah. Nice. I think he's one of the more interesting ones. His bottom dial doesn't hold up like crazy well, but oh. um, I mean, I think they balance that by making him so much cheaper. Yeah, they make him only forty-five points. I don't feel too bad. Definitely. Uh, we got another shield guy. This is Ooh. Clint Barton, Avengers Defenders, Thunderbolts, Martial Artist, and Shield keyword, or yeah, keywords. Uh, he has training the Thunderbolts team ability, or trait, jeez, not team ability. Um, but what it does is at the beginning of the game, you choose a copyable team ability an opposing character can use. This game, friendly characters with the Thunderbolts keyword can use that team ability. So you're not going to come but across this? a ton of like great copyable ones, but it's possible you'll come across um, like maybe Guardians, maybe Shield, maybe X-Men, just really depends like entirely depends on what you're playing um there's not a ton of what do you call it wild card like shenanigans going on anymore where you'd like a load lot. up one person with a wonder woman no like that'd be pretty sweet yeah. like give them all senses or help them out yeah a anyone with the goals. thunderbolts keyword all of a sudden gets a yeah senses at least on a six maybe better uh he also has uh a special trait that is trick shots from the sky cycle. When Hawkeye hits, give him a bullseye token. Hawkeye modifies his attack and defense plus one for each one of his bullseye tokens. Oh, it's bullseye with an exclamation point. Um, free. Bullseye! He has three or more bullseye tokens. Choose a standard power on his card. He can use that power until you choose again. It doesn't say anything about removing bullseye tokens, so you just can potentially get an infinite amount. Obviously, your attack and defense will cap at plus three um, unless your opponent's like reducing them. And then, you know, uh, 10 range, triple lightning bolt. This is what I mean by like. And down dial. Sometimes uh, attack. The, like the, the range doesn't follow with the power creep. Like yeah. everything else, like his, yeah, his down dial, his defense, kind of rough, but like. That range is like nuts, and having running shot with flight, top dial, 10 range, he's a 15 effective range on his own, so that means a single TK puts him at square 21. Like, yeah. that's that's with triple targets, and he's a 12 for 4 top dial. Um, obviously, you want to hit so that, you know, that 16 gets boosted up to a 17. Uh, is it... Let's see... When he hits, give him bullseye token. So yeah, you have to you have to hit like several times in a row. But then once you get three, um, you can pick the standard powers that are on his card. So you can have energy explosion if you're still top dial, incapacitate with triple target top dial. If you get these like mid clicks and you have three tokens, you have a running shot. Um, it's super helpful. Yeah, you get like real down dial. I mean, maybe range combat expert will help you dig out of that hole. But I mean, he is 50 points. I don't see him being played super competitively, but I feel like uh, like the specific team that you're going to play with him is going to be really fun. I think doing some shield TA shenanigans 
uh, boosting him to like high heaven with like attack and damage. Um, even just carrying like skeets or like some yeah, one of those like sure. empower PD kind little, of dudes. Uh, a little Easter egg that I wanted to look it up while you're talking, but his trait is exactly not exactly. Uh, but how the old Thunderbolts ATA and like feet yeah. card used to work, which yeah, is yeah. really cool. I really like that. Like, so like you know, because he has the Avengers team ability, that's probably what people were doing with him back then with the old Avengers, like or the Avengers Thunderbolts feet card, where they choose a new team ability besides Avengers. So like that's actually really neat. I like that flavor. You know, it's really fun for this Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah no, it's cool. Yeah, it does. The only thing that's different is you can no longer uh, choose the Mystics team ability right which was the most popular one for sure defenders Uh, maybe put him on like a team where he can like have like a decent defense defended to him Um, uh kang the conqueror Uh, this is a good thing of adding keywords we get council of kangs and already had future past ruler scientist Uh, oh baby i will make sure i read it it's only one trait so we don't have to worry about the card being so uh (laughs) the way it is Uh, when kang the conqueror hits Give him a time token. Free for each time, uh, for each Kang, the uh, free for each of Kang the Conqueror's time tokens. Yikes. Use a distinct combat value and modify that plus one in your next turn. And he has, so slash slash free, remove up to three time tokens if you did heal him that many clicks. So this Kang kind of starts off strong in the stats. So getting the time tokens are going to be easy. To hit, I believe he's like a 12 and he's got perplexed oh, top dial. 13. Just 13. Oh, yeah, dude, six. So he's a 13 for four. Bolt. Yeah. I love how cheap they made him. I think this is going to be a really fun P. I think it may see some fringe play, honestly. But with, what is it, nine range? Yeah. Eight. It's eight, eight printed. Um, if you get it, obviously, he's got perplex. that's one of your combat values like, you can boost or, yeah, perplex. So, yeah, you get up to like five of these. Can- There's no cap for any of the time tokens either. So, we get five, he's plus one to all stats, which is awesome. And then at any time, he removes three to heal uh, that many clicks, which is so, or heal up to three uh, and heal that many clicks, which is so dope. Like, I really like the staying around ability of this and, you know, durability is great. The modifying stats is really good. He doesn't really even need the stop stat modification as much as older figures. Like, sure, he's got like that eight attack pulse wave down dial and all that stuff, yeah. but. Compared to some of the other legacy cards, his stats actually stay like pretty consistent. His defense does tank pretty bad, but being able to heal and get the stat bonuses is really cool. So, I yeah. like this Kang. I'm very happy I own one. I cannot wait to play him. He's cool. I love the idea of getting like knocked off of top dial and healing to click two with those stat boosts. So you're like, yeah, like, that too. 14 for five with, Heck yeah, you know, nine range nine well it'd be yeah nine speed uh running shot but like that's like those are like nutso stats for 120 great oh it's a money it's I mean, just even, money stats right there even like a printed 13 we have not seen right? at 125 we don't even see that at 200 most of the time yeah just just thanos is the only like printed 13 yeah. currently in modern so now for like 125 which for reference he used to be 199 they took a, a lot off of his dial, and I'm surprised how much they did take off, considering how good his stats are. Like, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Man. I mean, yeah, he drops down to a 14 at one point, but like, honestly, you know, that's not like he's the got worst, so much life defense. left. That's the weirdest thing. Is like he's a 14 at like his lowest, but then he's got three clicks left, and he has invuln on that click. You know, like it's really not even that bad. Like when he has a 15 and 16, it's like he's got mastermind at least, you know. And I mean, obviously, he can heal up off of those. And even when he has, like, again, he has that 14, but he still at least has a 10 with prop, which means maybe he can hit and then that same turn remove a time token, heal up. You know, he can still, like, I don't know. I really like this Kang. I can see myself playing him a ton. He's just really cool. Yeah. He's one that I don't have, but I definitely want to pick up because, man. I love the old stats where it was just like yeah, it's wacky ridiculous number. Old stats. Yeah, just like uh, super wacky number. Uh, one of our more recent figures, yeah, uh, Jarvis. So Cosmos, I think the most recent out of all the legacy figures. Um, I think Jarvis is the second most recent. So from Avengers Assemble, he used to do stuff with ID cards. He gave you like plus three ID cards. Didn't really make sense because it's not really Jarvisy, 
but um, that's what he used to do. Now he's much more butlerish. So he's got the Avengers and Soldier keyword. That's right. He served. Uh, he and Charvis' real name. Um, he has a trait I tidied up. Free. Remove a non debris terrain marker within four squares. That's just a free action. Uh, again, works with like drop off stuff, get rid of like a barrier marker, um, smoke cloud, water, whatever. Potentially works with like the terrain that's coming out in the Spider Man set. Not really terribly sure if that's true or not, but yeah. we'll uh, we'll know more once that set drops. But uh, big if true, um, he also has the special defense power that is the heart of the Avengers. If Jarvis is adjacent to a friendly character with an Avengers keyword, he takes a maximum of one damage. Uh, this means that he's like prime, you know, Avenger mastermind fodder. There's not a lot of yeah. Avengers with mastermind, but if you have oh. one that for whatever reason has mastermind and you want to mastermind to Jarvis, uh, he's taking a max of one each time. So that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. He's got starts with uh, cool. his perplex, and then he goes on to enhancement for his last two clicks. So he's got that special defense power that means at I mean it can be outwooded. He does have stealth, but it can be outwooded. Yeah. But without the you know ability to outwit it, or assuming your opponent doesn't manage to outwit it, it's going to take like four, five attacks to take him down. One, two, take a minute. Three. Yeah, it takes In four to like get rid of him. Um, and then he has perplex the whole time. He has the free remove stuff that whole time. I think he's pretty solid. And then it's only 35 yeah. points. I think he used to be, what, 40? 40. Yeah, yeah. it's 40. So he's probably the smallest change we've seen yeah. so far, but he still does a lot. I mean, I like that he kept all of his like trait names the same. The I tidied up, part of the Avengers. That's really cool. Um, the old tidying up used to be like improved movement and stuff for like hindering terrain. So since that doesn't matter anymore, like I'm glad like the way they fixed that, you know, it's so, like that's yeah. really cool and it's still thematic. I like the idea of someone, an opponent, like dropping smoke cloud or barrier and he just like vacuums it, <laughs> like he just disappears. Yeah, really especially cool. since his sculpts like, um, you can't really the tell broom. here, but yeah, it's like him well, holding the broom and uh, Iron Man's helmet, uh, Thor's hammer, shield. and uh. Yeah, cap shield yeah. are all like at his feet. It's really, so it's just really like, cute. Like he's got to sweep around Thor's armor, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, he can't. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't do uh, a whole lot other than that. You know, perplex enhancement, two good little perplex or two good little support powers for thirty five yeah. points, and then yeah, that little negation to. We've seen a few people that can do stuff with terrain as far yeah. as like removing it and different stuff. So we'll see how those all interact with the the new terrain rules once those come out, but it's possible that this guy will have a lot of utility going forward. Yeah. Oh, Rick Jones. Don's Rickard himself. Here we are. Just kidding. Uh, so this Rick Jones used to be like just broken, like physically broken. They, the way he did his bystanders caused so much abuse. And I think they finally, they finally fixed the trait to make it like, Perform exactly how you want it to without being nuts. So, uh, summoning my favorite heroes at the beginning of the game, generate a bystander on this card. Each bystander on this card can only be generated once per turn. Very big thing. Uh, and then every time, I, probably on the bystander text itself, but the bystanders say, when blank is KO'd, generate a blank bystander. So I believe it's when Captain America is KO'd. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. So when Captain America is KO'd, you generate a Namor. Namor is KO'd, you make Blazing Skull. Blazing Souls KO'd, you make Captain America. Well, Beautiful. It's, a, uh, it's simple. Uh, yeah. KO'd after resolutions, Rick Jones. Rick Jones has to generate the Captain America. Oh, Rick Jones. Okay, so, so it's adjacent to Rick Jones. Cool. But these traits are on the bystanders, so if you have Captain America on the board and Rick Jones is KO'd, um, you will still, when Cap is KO'd, you'll still generate Namor. And then when Namor is KO'd, you'll still generate Blazing Skull. But then... They broke the cycle by making Rick Jones the one that generates Captain America. So right. it's still, if Blazing Skull is KO'd, you, like Rick Jones still just automatically generates Captain America. But if Rick Jones is also KO'd, the bystander generation stops, which is oh, the way sense. they got around, um, like, yeah, an infinite supply of bystanders. But yeah, still pretty solid. Yeah, no. And so. 
second ability, so his whole blast from the path. Oh, the blast came from my mind. Incapacitate when Rick Jones uses it. He may also deal his printed damage value to hit characters given an action token. Not as cool. Uh, it used to be uh, pretty gnarly. I think pen blast or something. He is a 10 range triple target. His printed damage is only 2 damage. So it's not It's not as dope to uh, deal your printed damage with only like a 2 printed damage. Yeah, it was pen psi telekinesis. Yeah, oh, so really used cool. to have, yeah. But uh, I still think it's, like, fun. I think it balances him out, too, because uh, otherwise, if he was, like, a 10-range triple target pen Psy, he would be, oh, like, the new best killer for Colossals in Silver Age, call in Rick Jones. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there is, that is uh, true. There is an IT card for Rick Jones. Yeah. I don't remember what it does, but, um, like, what the inspiration does. But, yeah, obviously, this will be... Something. I still think this will be a call in. I think yeah, this still, is the like, only silver age legal yeah, one. only silver age legal Rick Jones now. So now we also have a silver age legal Jarvis. If you want to call in Jarvis, True. who I believe also has an ID card, which is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, they took thirty points off Rick Jones. So I think getting rid of thirty points keeps the insane range and all the targets loses the pen I still think very fun. I still think very solid. And you get those bystanders, which are really cool. So and again, the first chase. Ever to be made into a legacy First card chase, yeah opens up and so many windows Man, and opportunities yeah. for the future a it crazy amount of stuff oh it definitely makes you wonder like when it comes to to betting where do on we legacy go? cards where do we go from here <laughs> like yeah do i have to start picking up chase sets just on the off chance that i'll never be able to get them because like maybe this rick jones this rick jones yeah. is probably trending at like 10 to 20 maybe 15 it's probably around to be yeah, in the legacy probably. card. He's probably yeah. like closer to forty or fifty now, and yeah. that's—I mean, I don't think he's competitive. I wouldn't say he's competitive, but like, you make a a Namor with dolphin symbol, a charge, super strength. Again, like the change to terrain is going to like in, involve super strength quite a bit. Um, when that Namor is KO'd, oh, after resolutions, Rick Jones. Rick Jones does generate all of them. Yeah, he makes all of them. Yeah. So it, never mind what I said before. Well, if to Rick be fair, Jones if, is if KO'd, you, uh... then they they all stop. Yeah. I thought it was like if I thought it was just Blazing Skull, but yeah, if Rick Jones is gone, then um, the bystander generation also goes away. Uh, but yeah. no, um, as long as Rick Jones is alive and well, um, if but, I mean they like, still. Dies, uh... You get like they still poison. get a kick around. Like even one, even Rick Jones dies, they still get a kick around until they die. Oh, eventually. Right. Yeah, they yeah. don't like disappear at least. No, yeah. yeah, they don't just like boop off the map. Uh, they just don't continue the cycle of constantly Death being called rebirth. back. And yeah, over and over. But yeah, I I like Blazing Skull the most. But um, I think Captain America. Yeah. Uh, they should have gave him like four range. Captain America is pretty solid. And no, a no 10 shield for two throw. With precision strike. Rough. And then uh, Namor, I think, might have the most utility just because the uh, yeah. the super strength might come in hand at some point in the future. All right. The last one we have, we don't have the back of the card because it was way too blurry. It's very bad. It's very but, blurry. But uh, it's Tigra. Um, from what what set was just from? Fantastic Forces, I think. Fantastic. I think that's what forces. Tigra is from. Tigra, Tigra, however Tigra, you want to say it. Tigra, yeah. Um, she has one trait, and it's uh, nine lives is the name of the trait. At the beginning of the game, give Tigra, Tigra, nine live tokens free. Remove any number of live tokens, lives tokens from Tigra that heal that many clicks. Okay, so she has nine. You can remove all nine. At any point in the game, um, there's also that uh, tarot card that like gives you a mission point for every time you heal. But I don't think that works. Oh yeah, there you well. go. Um, but the so she starts off. Her dial is a ten speed with stealth, a ten attack with blades, a seventeen defense with super senses, and two damage. She then goes on click two to a ten speed with charge, a nine attack with blades. 16 defense with super senses, also two damage. She keeps two damage until her last click where she only gets one. Um, so clicks two and three, she has charge on both of those. She Her values all drop bad. She's 40 points. She's got animals, or animals. She's got animal, avengers, 
and then police uh, keywords. And she's got the Avengers team ability. But, like, her stats after click one are not great. She goes down to a nine attack, 16 yeah, defense. Um, it's sad. If she survives a turn, she'll be able to heal back to full and then some. Uh, but the sad thing is, like, I don't see her surviving a turn. Um, it is really cool. She has, what, like, seven clicks of life, though, right? Like, yeah. no, no yeah, really she's long got dial. Seven clicks points. of life, so yeah. she could potentially use six of her nine lives tokens to heal back to full if she got yeah. knocked to the, like, specific click. Um, Last click, yeah. Yeah, she goes from charge to leap climb for clicks uh, four and five, and then she gets flurry with exploit on clicks six and seven. But those clicks come with an eight and nine attack for two and one damage. And she's got a 14 and 13 uh. blank defense. Uh, she is the, like, without even seeing the last few, she is the worst yeah. legacy card in this set. I don't know how much play Tiger is going to see here. I, Probably close to none. Man. She has a really fun trait. It's really unique. She does, I think yeah. it's kind of flavorful. The Nine Lies of the Cat. It's really cool. Uh, doesn't make up for her everything else, sadly, but it's still it still needs. So for all those Tigra fans out there, there's only like six of these ever made. I don't think she's she's not a very popular like clicked character. So oh. there you go. You've got one. You got another one, or you get mileage of an old one. Uh, but yeah, I believe it's all the legacy cards we've seen. The Modok and Thor we've seen a while ago, uh, so we don't have like. Re pictures of them but those are up on like hc realms clicks nexus etc if you guys want to yeah, check those out, out. While. but thank you guys so much for watching this video let us know in the comment section below what legacy card you are most excited to get from this set and what figure you can't wait to get a legacy card in the future if you hope if you had to make a little dial h bet on what let figure gets a legacy card let us know in the comment section below make sure to like subscribe hit that bell notification for more dial h or hero videos and like always happy trails